Some companies, they have no choice but to use the OEM support. And that's, that's fine because we've got a way of you still using the OEM support whereby we refurbish the equipment for you, it stays under the umbrella within your estate which allows you to still get OEM support. Because the equipment remains your property, it's never left your estate, you can avoid all OEM support issues. We all know if you buy something outside the official channel, you're, you, you're denied official OEM support. Okay, so that's, that, that's a fact, we have to deal with that. And it's not always straightforward. You have to shop around with third party company and it needs to be a reputable third party company and there are plenty out there. And it's a legitimate business and the OEM can't do anything about it except for put up a frequently asked questions uh, result on a Google search to try and deter that customer from going with third party. But uh, I think that's a, a battle that's been lost a long time ago. And given that the current economic climate is dictating money-wise, okay, that everybody's got to save money, I think we'll find a lot more companies seeking third party support for one reason only, money. So the example is, the equipment has gone to site, you bought it brand new from the OEM, it's gone to your customer site, they're on a two year contract. The contract's come to an end for, where, for a myriad of reasons, okay? The equipment comes back and the line is switched off, okay? Or upgraded. Um, you've got a device that may have cost you a few thousand pounds several years ago, okay? It's still worth half that now. Um, now what you could do, okay, is we could refurbish that for you, okay? We send it back to you. It's been professionally refurbished and validated, okay? So it's been, as one of our customers said to us, it's been spruced up. It's been flushed out. It's data cleansed. It looks beautiful. It's in your packaging or our packaging with your branding. And it goes back on the shelf. But whereas it goes back on the shelf before and it just gathers dust and depreciates a value and it's a waste of money, it goes on your shelf ready for reuse. Now the beauty with that, it's never left your estate. It's still your property. You still enjoy OEM, full OEM technical support. Even if you didn't want to go down the third party support route and you, your company policy might be that uh, you can only use uh, OEM full support, then you don't lose that. Because that equipment hasn't been sold from your company to somebody else, okay? And at that point, it loses its ability to have full OEM support. It stayed within your estate, you still own it. Yes, of course, the serial number might be registered to the customer that it was shipped to, but for all the OEM knows, that customer might have, you know, folded okay and you need to find a new home for that so you can have that customer's details removed as the registered owner of that equipment because it's still within your estate okay send it back to us refurbish it okay we send it back to you you put it on the shelf when a new customer comes along you can offer them two options okay full price full OEM support or the cheaper option I bet they'll look at that. What's the cheaper option? The cheaper option is, okay, refurbished by you. Yes, you sent it to us and we refurbished it for you, okay, but it's been approved by you, okay. And you can offer that customer two options. The full price or a refurbished price. Now the refurbished option, okay, that gives the customer one a cost saving and you an advantage over your competitors who, who perhaps aren't offering that to their customers. But you're also waving the green flag, okay, 
it's already used up its carbon footprint, okay? So it's good for the environment, okay? You get full OEM support. It looks as good as the, uh, the option one, which was the brand new, but it's half the price. Okay, so that is a way to save money and to make your customers happy because you've given them a plan B, okay? Because in the current economic climate, everybody's going to be looking at every single penny and all of us need to do that. And that is, this is one solution that will win you friends and new customers, okay? And save you money because at the end of the day, you didn't have to go out and buy another one for that customer because you've already bought it. It's already had its uh, cost out of it, okay? So it's in stock at zero cost, okay? So you, you probably even make a, a profit margin on top of the refurbishing cost because the refurbishing cost is going to be, it's not going to be anything near the cost of uh, a brand new one. It may be your company's policy historically or currently, okay, not to buy used or refurbished network equipment, which is fine, but this solution offers you a way to offer a cost saving to your customers and a cost saving to yourself because you've got all that hardware, okay, and all it takes is 10 switches that have come from a network, okay, one of them's worth a lot of money still, but it's sat there gathering dust with the other nine that aren't worth anything. So what happens? All ten get scrapped. It's crazy. Make a list of what you've got. Check to see if that ninth item, okay, which we know is worth a, a lot of money, okay, could be refurbished and reused, redeployed either within your own network or your customer's network. Today, more than ever, we need to look at a cost saving and we need to look at every single penny. We need to look at every single leak in the boat and see if it's worth plugging. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to know more, please email me, david at gocomsys.com. And if you wanted to come and have a look at our operation and visit our premises, you're very welcome. Just give me a call, send me an email, and um, we'll have the coffee machine ready for you. Thanks for watching.